What's up, taters? Welcome to episode number one. My name is Charles, and I am that bourbon dude. All right, taters, thanks so much for watching. Uh, what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about the plans for this channel and sort of what you should expect and the differences between my channel and every other one you've seen before. Um, we are going to do a few uh, reviews and tastings on here of different products and some blinds. Um, we're going to talk about the bourbon world and all the craziness going on. A lot of you guys have probably already seen the uh, controversy around 13 Colony. I will chime in on that and kind of give my opinion. Um, we're going to talk about crazy prices and uh, these museum stores and how that uh, we as the consumer, we control the money and uh, we don't have to buy the products in their store. Uh, you go in there, you see a George T. Stag for $1,000, walk the hell out. You don't have to spend your money. That's way too much to be paying for a bottle. You can pick up something like this. This is the uh, 1792 foolproof, and you can usually find these between 60, 70 bucks, and they're excellent. Uh, great value for the money. Uh, I'm going to be voicing a lot of very unpopular opinions why I think that this is absolutely garbage, and you should be drinking this instead. Way better, a lot less money. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, hype bottles that I find that are complete trash and I don't think they're worth the money and uh, people are just kind of propping up the market with the hype and it's unnecessary. Uh, you're gonna get to see some behind the scenes stuff from the uh, trips that we take, the bourbon hunting trips. We're gonna be going down to Key West here in a couple months and I'm gonna take you guys along with me there. You're gonna get to follow me to the distilleries when they do drops uh, if you want, you can also follow me on uh, TikTok at That Bourbon Dude. Uh, you can see a lot of the content that I've already posted there. Uh, we will be looking at uh, the self esteem problem that we see in the bourbon community. Uh, many of you have already seen the fact that you get on your your Facebook feed and you'll see all these guys posting pictures with the bottle like this in their vehicle showing their watch and their steering wheel, and uh, they're trying to get some clicks. Those are your Instagram bourbon boys. Those guys in a couple days typically post those bottles on uh, secondary groups for sale because they can't afford to open them because they paid way too much. And that's just not what we do around here. Uh, you can see behind me, I have a lot of products and I didn't overpay for them. I got them at a very reasonable price and most of them at retail. Uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about before I uh, get you guys along is not overpaying for bottles. There are many, many products on the market that are not allocated that are extremely good and are sitting on the shelf every day and you walk by them because they're not hype products. You don't have to buy all these super high-end allocated products to be cool. Uh, don't chase the, uh, the bourbon group, like getting in with the uh, cool kids. It's not that important, okay? I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for joining in. This is going to be a, a journey. And remember, don't pay too much for your bourbon just to fit in. Bourbon Dude out.